YouTube, what's going on? Actually, we're missing something. It is not a proper God7 or Jackson Wang video if we are not rocking the Team Wang jacket. So what's going on guys, Daniel AK Phoenix DTS coming at you guys with another brand new YouTube video, a little different today. We're not going to do a filmmaker reactions because we got some news and talking and it's just been kind of one of those crazy weeks in the world and so I just wanted to kind of chill, take it easy, have a little heart to heart, face to face discussion with you guys. Mainly about God7 and all the stuff that's recently happened with them and JYP Entertainment, which is their label. And I just wanted to share my thoughts, what went down, my my perception, like how I was viewing the situation from my, my point of view and how that's gonna affect content here on this channel moving forward. Now, as you guys know, I've kind of recently gotten into the GOT7 movement uh, a lot more aggressively. You know, I've been a fan kind of in the, in the shadows a little bit, you know. My first GOT7 video was uh, Not By The Moon, and then we've recently gotten back into it and with their new album, Breath Of Love Last Peace, and we've been doing all those videos, lots of videos for that. I really love the album. It really impressed me. Like, if that album wasn't as awesome as it was, I don't think I would have been as much of a GOT7 fan, but literally now I'm like kind of overtaking them, and they're, they're like rivaling these guys. Like, I've been kind of on the BTS every once in a while, but like, I'm like listening to this GOT7 album like every day, and it's crazy. And then even before that, I was a huge Jackson Wang fan, because I've just known about him in the community, and I really, he's like one of my idols, like, you know, his his vision, his art direction, his passion, his ambition for, for himself and his work ethic is really, really admirable in my eyes. And so that's why I got this. I'm gonna be copping the new collection, something. I might get a shirt or a hat or something that's dropping very soon. So I'm a huge Jackson Wang fan. So we've been uh, on that train and then we got on the GOT7 train. So I was kind of late to the party with GOT7. Some of you guys were commenting down below, you've been with them since debut. And I was like, holy smokes, that's like back when BTS, like that's like almost seven, eight years ago. Like that's crazy. And so I've been kind of supporting them. So recently on the channel, we've been going back and like doing all their old music videos. And I'm still gonna be doing that because you guys seem to enjoy that. It wasn't like a deep dive with BTS where I found them to listen to everything. It was like GOT7, I recent I listened to their recent stuff and you know, I've been just kind of staying in that loop. So there's lots of old GOT7 music that I've like never even listened to and music videos that I've never even watched before. So that's gonna be fun to take a look at in the future. Now regarding what happened between GOT7 and JYP Entertainment, and I'm coming at you from a fan that just recently hopped on, that doesn't know a lot, that's not involved with all the Korean drama, that only sees stuff on YouTube videos, in their social media, and and sometimes I'll see like hashtag on Twitter, you know, GOT7 deserve more, you know, I've been seeing like how, like a little bit of things of like how they've been mistreated. So everything I'm about to say is not like official record or anything, it's just how I viewed the situation. So basically how I see it is that like, uh, and from a lot of the community perspective, like GOT7 has been mistreated by JYP Entertainment, their label company, for a decently long time. And the way I see it, it's not like an outright, just like total mistreatment, it's more just like of a, a lack of, full embracing, you know, it's not like, you guys are shit, we're not helping you at all, it's more of like, we're gonna do what we need to and what we've told you to, but we're not gonna go the extra mile and like, give you everything we have, you know? It's like a, it's just like a relationship where like, yeah, we do this, we do this, we do the bare minimum, we meet each other's standards and that's about it, but uh, other than that, I'm not really gonna go out of my way to make sure you're doing good and make sure you're doing the best that you possibly can. I'm gonna do what I said I'm gonna do, do what I need to, but I'm not gonna go beyond the call of duty. Now, to some things, that's that's perfectly fine, you know? Lots of jobs and that's okay, but you know, in this situation, when you see the potential there and how that was not achieved and not attained, it's kind of disheartening that that was a possibility and that, that, that didn't happen. Especially when you have lots of younger groups that I'm not really aware of and I've listened to a couple smaller groups here and there of boy bands from JYP and I'm not as impressed as I am with GOT7, those smaller groups have been given that extra treatment and they have been spoon fed and given that elevation like, yo, you guys are the next thing, we're pushing, we're giving everything to you, whereas GOT7, you guys are there, but we're okay. In a way, it's kind of like GOT7 was like the 
one of the first children, you know, you gave them what you needed to and you were right by them because they were your kid. And then, but then the younger child comes in and you're like showering them with everything, making sure they are elevated to new heights compared to the other one. I don't want to throw names about other things, but I'm guessing you guys already know. And I've seen it all over Twitter of the different groups, even, even the girl groups, they like push up there, but the got seven, it's like you get the short and the stick every time, you know, lack of promotion, um, lack of distribution all those things. Lack of freedom also, you know, like lots of the members wanted to pursue their own things. I, I'm super like surprised that like Team Wang is a thing while Jackson was still in, J in JYP as God7. I think that's just a testament to him and his character and how hard he goes and how busy and how much he pushes himself, which is incredible. But yeah, but at the same time, it's not like JYP did nothing for them. Like, you know, basically all of their success could be attributed to JYP, you know, without them, they wouldn't have that shot. They wouldn't have had the, the means and the distribution to getting all their music made and their produced and their music video shot. Music videos are like millions of dollars worth, you know, to produce, you know? So it's like, we're, we've given you everything that you have now, you know, we're the reason that you're existing. On that basis, you can't really shit on us because without us, you would be nothing too. So there's kind of like those two sides of the coin, you know? I mean, of course they could go on with a different label, I'm guessing, but when you're a trainee or a debut group, I'm guessing it's really hard to negotiate which label. You don't have a lot of leverage because you don't have any success. And it's almost like you're just kind of picking at what you can get at that point, I'm kind of assuming there. So yes, JYP did a lot for them, but they didn't do enough. So now when their contract has been up, I guess they're like, nah, we're out. And they wanted to stick together. Um, this is lots of parallels with like the One Direction thing, I'm guessing. Um, they wanted to stick together, but there weren't any like opportunities with labels that all seven could agree on, but they're still a God seven forever. I think that's awesome. And I don't think this is the end of God seven. We're definitely gonna be seeing more of them, but for now it's like, until that is a possibility, we're gonna be seeing lots of individual stuff. You know, I saw in a post that Mark wants to start a YouTube channel. I don't know the validity of that, but I mean, he has been talking about his YouTube channel, so cool. Let Mark do his thing. Um, yu gi -Oh is with AOMG now. I think he's, that's what he's looking to sign with. Um, Young Jay is, with, is looking into a different company. Um, Bam Bam is gonna be balancing Thai stuff in Korea, and then Jackson is full on Team Wayne. You know, he's, he said he's producing 15 English songs and 15 Chinese songs this year, which is absolutely crazy. That's a lot of songs. More reactions coming. And then JP, you know, I don't know where he's gonna go, but I really hope he continues in music. You know, I love the Deaf Soul stuff. That is my dude, that is my playlist for you guys know. So yeah, I'm really excited to see where these guys go. And of course, wherever they go, whichever labels or whatever, I'm gonna be reacting to their stuff because I support them. Got seven forever, you know, we're gonna be checking out new Team Wang videos. We're gonna be checking out new yu gi -Oh stuff now. I mean, of course I do have my biases within the group and like I have like hard biases and then hard bias records. So they're gonna come up a little bit higher in the priority list, but we're gonna be covering it all, don't worry. And as far as the GOT7 content on this channel, it's not going anywhere. We're gonna be cranking out more of those videos. I want more discussion with you guys. Let me know in the comments like how my analysis of this whole situation has gone. Am I right, am I wrong? You know, what missing pieces are there that I've not picked up on yet? And uh, what do you guys want to see in terms of like branching out with the different members? You know, what would you like each member to see? Because we're gonna be covering it all. So let me know in the comment section below. Again, I just wanted to take a little short video today talking about this stuff, how it affects the channel. A little update video. We don't get to do this a lot. Um, and these videos don't get a lot of traction, which is also why I don't do them a lot. But I felt like this was important to talk about God 7 and how we're still God 7 forever, Team Wang, woo. Um, and so we're gonna continue to support them. More videos are coming every single week for you guys. So. That has been me. That has been me talking for a little bit, getting my thoughts out. Hope you guys are excited for this. I know this announcement has been met with open arms from the God7 and Agase community. Now they have more freedom. They can fly and do whatever they want. And the boys are actually like fully happy, which I'm really excited for. So if you guys are excited too, don't forget to drop me one of these. If you did enjoy the video, it really helps me out. And subscribe to new videos every single day. Day. And subscribe for new videos every single week. And don't forget to find yourself, be yourself, love yourself. 
Hey guys, Daniel aka Phoenix DTS checking in with you at the end of the video. If you did like what you saw, please be sure to check out one of these other two videos and don't forget to drop me one of these and subscribe for new videos every single week. Thank you guys so much for supporting me. I love you. Have a good one.